that these people who are driving these UFOs, or at least the people who designed them, have a technology that's more advanced than ours. I mean, I think that's obvious that they're more advanced than our technology. Their technology is so advanced that they have figured out a way to artificially warp space-time, the way a black hole does, only without all the gravitational effects that rip things apart into their constituent atoms, so that they can actually manipulate, they have some sort of a generator in here, so that they can actually produce this field around their crap like a little bubble, a little private universe that they carry around with them, so that they can actually step out of normal space-time into their own private universe and then step back into it at other coordinates. So if that's possible, then they can not only come from all these distant places, but they can also come from parallel universes that coexist with ours and we're not able to see because they're on a different vibrational level or whatever. They can even come, probably, from our own past or our own future. Because as the quantum physicists are telling us now, the past, present, and future are not separate. Our idea of the stream of time is only an art artifact of our consciousness. It is our consciousness that's traveling. It isn't that things are happening cause and effect in a linear fashion. It is our consciousness that's doing that. So the past and future actually exist simultaneously with us. And if you're able to warp space time, you can travel to and from them. Time is not linear. In fact, it doesn't exist. It's just a, it's just a concept that we use to describe aspects of space time. And it's, it's an artifact of our consciousness. So this, Warping of space-time, I think, can explain a great many things about the UFOs.